Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Just want to say hi to uh, all the new subscribers out there. Thank you very much. Uh, you know who you are. <laughs> Thanks for watching this uh, very humble, non-technical uh, channel here. Uh, I was just coming in with some groceries and I thought about these two antennas here. Uh, as you know, this is the Stryker SRA 10, uh, 66 inch whip. Uh, it's kind of center mounted on the car and that's the whole thing mounting i have mag mounts you may have mag mounts you have may have uh, uh mirror mounts uh, roof mounts rack mounts uh, there's all sorts of mounts nmos nmos you want to drill a hole through your roof go for it if you're good at that that's great make sure you seal it up so no water gets in but the whole point is of this video is placement placement on the roof now mind you this is 11 meter it could be used for 10 or 12 meter antenna and this one back here is the uh, tri uh sorry mfj 1729 dual band 5 8 on uhf and half wave on uh, two meter uh two meter being 144 megahertz or so and then uh, uhf 140 megahertz or 440 sorry anyway where are you going to mount them placement now, the 11 meter antenna that I run the President McKinley barefoot in the car is kind of center mounted. Center mounted, why? Why would you want it in the middle of your vehicle on the, on the uh, roof? So you get an omnidirectional pattern in all directions. Not perfect circle, but close enough in all directions on your vehicle. That's the best place to put it, is in the center of your roof. Now, I do that on the 11 meter here because I kind of need that when I'm talking to locals in the area, especially down here in the valley. As you can see those hills up over there, I got that to the south and I got another set to the north. Uh, the UHF VHF here, that I have it kind of mounted towards the back. I still have a little bit left, but the reflection's coming off the hood pretty well. When you mount an antenna in the back, you kind of get a forward facing direction of your your signal it goes more to the front a little bit out to the left and right and then a little bit out in the back actually less in the back so it's more forward facing so if you're a truck driver actually that's a bad example <laughs> if you're if you're driving the highway all the time and you want to know what's going on the road five miles or so ahead of you then yeah, you could have this more in the back because you're, you're talking to the people that are in the tra traffic jam in front of you. But if you're talking local and things like that, or maybe shooting some skip, you're gonna want this in the center. Now I've been debated, I've, I've moved this in the back and I've put the uh, MFJ dual band in the, in the center to have more omnidirectional for repeaters or simplex. And I'm probably going to swap these again at some point and put this back in the middle and this in the back. So it is what it is. Now, if you have a vehicle that you have it mounted on the front, say, front left mirror, your signal when it goes out, when you, brought, when you transmit, it's going to go out to the right. And same as if it's on the right side uh, mounted on the mirror, it's going to go to the left, your transmitting signal. Now, you'll see truck drivers out there with 11 meter, <clears throat> say, Stryker or Wilson or whoever, Serio antennas uh, mounted to their mirrors and their, uh, what are they called, co-face. So they're, they got one antenna on the right side, they got one on the left side, but they're not pointing straight up, they're pointing forward. Now, there's a lot of debate out there. A lot of guys think, oh, it's getting out there further. All right, think about a vertical antenna a vertical antenna is technically a dipole. Here's one half of it. The other half is the roof, your ground, okay? The other half of the antenna. Vertical polarization. Now, these gentlemen are putting their antennas on a tilt. Kind of look like it's cool looking. Yeah, mind you. But they're putting it on a tilt, like a, on an angle. And what they're doing is half of that signal's going down to the ground in front of them. The other half is going up on an angle behind them they're not going any far further forward the signal isn't just coming out of the tip right there let's see if focus would work anyway it's not just coming out of the tip it's coming out of the whole length of the antenna so keep them vertical guys keep them vertical anyway that's a debate maybe uh in the comments you know if you guys had uh situations or 
maybe you feel like you, you can hear better or maybe you can uh, get out better on your radio. I don't know, but that's just my point of view there. And I think I'm right on that respect. So anyway, just where are you gonna mount your antenna? Like I said, the best place to put it is gonna be smack dab in the middle if you can. If you have a tractor trailer, maybe there's not a lot of metal on the body nowadays, I've noticed. And uh, maybe you could hide it, you know, on the roof somewhere or mount an NMO on the roof of the cab. That would be a good place to put it. Uh, if, you, if you have to do the mirror mount or you have to do both sides, do the co-phasing, uh, you know, that works just fine too, as long as those antennas are vertical because we are vertically polarized. Everybody, for the most part you talk to out there, in a vehicle anyway, are, is going to be vertically polarized. So keep those antennas straight up. And if you can't mount it dead center in the roof, find the best place you can. A lot of these uh, ham and GMRS uh, coaxial cables that are on these uh, <clears throat> either mono band or uh, uh, dual band antennas or tri band, whatever, they don't really give you a lot of coax. This one here is RG8X. This one's RG58. This RG8X for the striker, they give you 18 feet. So you have plenty of room to put it anywhere. And then these, I've noticed, even Diamond, MFJ, Comet, they only give you 13 feet. Well, 13 feet isn't going to get me to the center. It's only going to get me to about here, halfway in the middle. So it's a compromise either way. I wish they would give you more uh, length on the antenna, honestly. So anyway, that's the case there. That's the case there. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Talk about antenna placements. If you're new to the game, or even if you're a seasoned vet, where do you have your antennas mounted on your vehicles? I'd be curious to know. Please leave that in the comments. This is Mike Cricket 113 on a chilly, breezy day. 7-3, keep playing with those radios, and I'll talk to you again soon.